What is up? Got a game of Modern Warfare 2 Tar 21 on skip. Wait, wait. Nope, nope. This is Black Ops. And this is not a regular commentary. Got a dual com. And uh, I'll, I'll let the guest of honor introduce himself because he's a big boy. Go for it. Well, hello. My name is uh, Kage, Berserk Gazelle, however you want to, you know, whatever you want to call me. And today I'm going to be cooking some eggs <laughs> in my house. It's a pretty interesting gameplay, even though you're not going to see any of it. But, well. I've got to ask, right when you said something, I heard clapping. Are you oh. masturbating there? Just tell the <laughs> truth right now. Well, that was kind of me slapping the, uh, that, oh. uh, that's my spatula. No, it's not slapping against my anus. No, it's not. <laughs> Just in case you're wondering. <laughs> uh, uh, you got some you live sure? commentary of egg cooking here. God damn it, these things are cooking slow. I'm going to turn up the heat. Okay. Alright, so uh, i got a few questions lined up for you here. I'm putting you on the spot. Okay. Alright, number one. If you could make your own Call of Duty game, what era in time would you choose to put it in? Okay, well, if we're talking seriously, I don't know, the the new modern games, I mean, a lot more people would be interested in them, so if I want to pour myself out for money, then probably go with the modern era, because everyone's going to be more interested in all the crazy attachments and, you know, air support, but uh, there's, there's something about the, the good old games of the World War II. I, I know we don't really need many more uh, World War II games, we kind of had enough of those. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, it would probably takes take you know very original take place in modern times, I guess. I mean, I see where you're coming from with people being more into it, but it seems like every modern war game that comes out, it's the same thing, like same weapons, same concept. If I was like gonna do a modern game, I'd take my idea, put it into a mini game. I want some game. Where you're using like archery and blowguns, that would be funny as hell. Well, yeah. I mean, I don't know if that would be much of a Call of Duty game, but for a first-person shooter, definitely like jungle warfare. You got your uh, <laughs> your <laughs> spears dipped in monkey blood poison. Dude, oh, that, that would be the greatest Call of Duty game ever made, right there, hands down. Yeah. Kill, Kill streak. Up. You get like some Indian oh, tribe with like some ridiculous short bows like firing across the map <laughs> god damn it I got hit by a coconut cross map <laughs> I don't know just just the thought of just being like on horseback instead of tanks with some friggin dart blowgun type thing just shooting poison darts into people's eye sockets that'd be beast alright killstreak idea number one attack pygmies <laughs> Alright, you just kind of walked into question number two without even having to do anything, so, uh... Actually, this is like kind of our side question, but now that you just went into it, let's just go ahead right into this question. If you can make your own kill streak for any Call of Duty game, no matter what the era, what would it be? Okay, well, for a series... Okay, how, how big of a kill streak are we talking here? Are we talking about, like, massive, like, you know, big-ass, you know, like, better than the nuke, more humiliating, or just, like, something that would be legitimately helpful. Whatever kill streak you can think of, I'll accept. I think there should just I don't know. Aside from all the air support and stuff, I mean there's a lot of cool air support and people could come up with that, but I think if you can just get to a high enough kill streak, let's say like you know, what'd be an impressive kill streak, fifty, seventy five, just something ridiculous, your enemy should have to lose so much morale, whereas they just surrender and you get to execute them one by one by shooting them in the face. Brutally humiliate them. Oh, oh, egg flip. Egg flip. <laughs> All right, we've we've gone to the cooking side of this commentary. That was perfect. Let's see. If I had to make a kill streak for a Call of Duty game, that's a tough one. I mean, yeah, you have to decide if you, you want. You can't something really that go you... for like helicopters because they've already got what four different helicopters in Call of Duty now. It's... Yeah. Um, the odds prey gunner sounds interesting from Modern Warfare 3. Yeah. I really don't know what I would make. I mean, I am more team based, so I'd, I'd have to go with some kind of a recon kill streak. 
some kind of support, yeah. But there's nothing really much you can do better than knowing exactly where people are and which way they're going, and Blackbird hit that right on the head. I don't, I don't know, like... If it could tell you, like, give you information on how much, what gun they have, you know, what's their perks, something like that. It'd have to be really high, though. If a Blackbird's... I think a Blackbird's gonna be a 9 or a 10 in Modern Warfare 3. Well, no, it wasn't a Blackbird, it was a advanced UAV, but I remember it was high and it was in the support. I think it was maybe like 11 or something like that. But, you know, if it's giving you that much intel, it'd have to be pretty high. Alright, I think I've got the perfect kill streak idea. I don't know exactly how many kills this would take. I'd probably say in the uh, 10 to 15 range. But I want a kill streak that allows me to capture objectives faster. Ooh, that would be definitely nice. <laughs> yeah, because I can't stand, you know, like a 10 second flag cap with a bunch of teammates who don't want to do anything, and I'm just throwing myself on the B flag, and, you know, it's taking me 10 seconds. Yeah. If I'm going to do something by myself, I want some kind of a speed boost for it. And not just some kind of, you know, more health for a little bit. I mean, of course, that'll help, but something that'll help you, and maybe your teammates even, cap positions faster, or like something, you know. I don't know, people would be more motivated to cap positions if they gave more XP. They're going to be more motivated now that it's point streaks and not kill streaks. Well, yeah, but people are still going to be, you know, kill whores, and there's going to be people ignoring flags like there always is. There's Def pretty much no way to just get every single person to go full on flags and ignore KD. But I mean, if you think about it now, if you're uh, going for the positions and you're getting kills, you're getting your uh, point streaks, kill streaks, whatever you want to call them, twice as fast. So, in the long run, even if, even if you're just capturing a lot of positions and you're just using support kill streaks, you're going to get quite a bit of kill streaks just from constantly going after those. As long as you get some sort of success. Yeah. Yeah. All right. One more question here. This one's kind of uh, I, I don't know. I like this question. All right. You're locked in Walmart. There's no way out except for helicopter escape. You're given an M16, a torch, a flare, and a pocket knife. There's five magazines of ammo randomly hidden throughout the store. They can be in, like, boxes of cereal. They can be in whatever. And you have to survive 24 hours against a horde of 150 zombies. Do you do this for $50,000 or do you not do it? Alright, well, uh, first of all, my eggs are done, so... <laughs> <laughs> well, congratulations. Alright, $50,000 for risking my life against uh, 150 zombies for 24 hours. Alright, Walmart, why couldn't you have chosen something cool like Costco or a sports authority? Let's see. Well, because if you do sports authority, you know, they could have some kind of a, a hunting section there, and there's just, like, weapons out the ass there. Yeah, they have guns, and Costco has high shelves with lots of, uh, you know, Costco would definitely be the place that I go to survive. Yeah, but $50,000, you gotta make it as challenging as you possibly can without making it impossible. Let's see. Well, I don't know. I mean, maybe if I can climb and the zombies can't, I might be content kind of sitting on top of a shelf for 24 hours. <laughs> Okay, 150 zombies, five clips of ammo, so I, I, I'm guessing I start off with one clip of ammunition. Uh, you start with, let's say, half a clip. That way, you, you know, you gotta actually go and have some intention to go finding the other five I magazines. I, I would have to go through every single item in Walmart just to find five clips of ammunition, let's say 30 bullets. So that's 150 shots. I would have to search every single item in Walmart in order to kill all the zombies. I don't think I'd be able to do that in 24 hours, especially while under attack. Here's the way I'm thinking. According to, you know, let, let's put Black Ops and Call of Duty aside, zombies aren't supposed to run. I'm thinking I just go up into the, uh, the drink section, grab every energy drink they have, go into the, uh, the drug section, find some kind of adrenaline pills, and just keep running from them for 24 hours. <laughs> Well, uh, first of all, these eggs are phenomenal, and, uh... Congratulations, alright. Feel accomplished. You know, uh, I'm gonna go and, like, try to find some, uh, adrenaline. I mean, I don't think they really even have adrenaline prescriptions. Well, I'm, in I'm not saying, like, you know, go get, like, a syringe of adrenaline and just shoot it into yourself. I'm talking, like, maybe some kind of an energy pill or just something that keeps you awake. 
Alright, well, let's see. Can I prepare for this, like, beforehand and take in an item with me? Like, some, not something that will directly kill the zombies, but will something that will affect my performance. Hmm. And also, are there afterward consequences to the actions that I choose in here besides death? And uh, get punished? Nope. It's either you, you go in there, do what you have to do for 24 hours to survive, and that's it. Or you just choose not to do it. No All right, repercussions. So, um, if I could take something in there, I'd probably take a bunch of PCP. <laughs> Just become a zombie, and or like you know, get super strength and just maul my way through them. Basically, just rip the doors out and bust through the walls and escape the Walmart. Let the zombies out into society and you know destroy the world. If I had, if I could take one thing in there with me, actually, I wouldn't even have to take this in here. They'd actually have. I would just go grab a computer, get their internet access. Go up to the zombies and just show them a video of Syndicate murdering zombies. <laughs> and hope to God that I can scare them. <laughs> yeah, just go into the uh, video game section and start playing some Black Ops. What's <laughs> up, so, guys? How's it going? You want to play? Uh, no, we're fine. Thanks. We're just. I think I hear my mom calling. It's dinner. See you guys. <laughs> oh my gosh. Alright, well, that's the end of the game. Thank God we actually we, we pulled that off with all those little questions. I'm surprised. Good. Lots of rambling. Oh god, these eggs are fucking delicious. All right. Well, uh, I assume he's gonna go enjoy his eggs, and I'm gonna go get on Modern Warfare 2 later. All right.